Welcome to Knit One Heart, Heart two. 2, episode 157. I guess so. You're the episode keeper. I know. <laughs> I'm Sheila, a salon owner, Sheila D37. And I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Wendy. And if this is your first time watching us, thanks for checking us out. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. And we really appreciate you guys coming we back each do. week. We um, do. Shout outs at the top of the show. Um, thank you to everybody who came up and said hello to us yes. at Connecticut Sheep and Wool. That was a lot of fun. For, it was a miserable day, so we really appreciate anyone who came <laughs> out for that. I was surprised at how many people we saw. It was, oh, it was a horrible day. But that, well, the weather was horrible, but we had Oh, fun yes, I'm sorry. The weather was horrible, but we had we'll a really good time. We'll talk about that and gossip and innuendo. Okay. Um, but at the top of the show, we have our ongoing knit-along for stash busting. So for, wrap for it April, up yep. for April. It's going to yeah, wrap up. Yeah, one more up. week. We'll, uh, we'll close it We'll close it when next we draw Tuesday. for prizes next Tuesday. So you have until next Tuesday. Get your stuff in. Um, and we have our Annika cowl. With the chapeau. The chapeau, chevron chapeau and chevron Annika chapeau. cowl knit along. That's still going on. Um, her code, everything is awesome, is good until the end of the month. So get it in there. You yeah. have another week. And you could probably easily finish that and post it in the Oh, thread. easily, easily, easily. So, um, those are the two things that are ongoing for right now. Yeah. Um, just trying to think what else is going on. Is there yeah. anything else? Do we have any donations this week? I mean, we no. have Bobbles and Bling has a donation, and we'll talk about that when we get to that part, but no. Um, no, no monetary. No monetary <laughs> donations this week. Okay, good to know. Um, so. I'll, on the dance card. On the dance card, I'll go. Let's see. I have to even tell where everything is. Okay. <laughs> so. Do you even have any, anything knitting on the dance card? I did. Currently? I worked a lot on a project of shame. Um, if you've watched the show for a year. <laughs> you've seen this. You've seen this many you've times. You've seen this come in, come out, come in, come out, come in, come this out. This is the Aquaphobia sock. I can no longer remember the name of the person who designed it, but if you look in the show notes, it'll be there. Um, and if you look in the previous show notes for it'll many episodes, it's been there. Um, these are knit out of Into the World Pococo Sock in the Muse Pooling Colorway. I love the colorway. I do, too. I love this yarn. This is nice. This Muse um, Pococo Sock is the base. It is really nice. And um, for those of you who are going to Maryland Sheep and Wool, Chris from Into the World is going to be there with oh. her beautiful yarn, so you can probably find some of this. Um, I started out doing the Aquaphobia sock pattern, which is this um, eye of partridge, basically, yeah. on the top of the foot, and then there's like a little cable, some purling and a cable. And I started the eye of the partridge right here, but since I kept putting these socks down because I don't really like to knit socks that much and because it was they were fiddly, I kept doing the eye of the partridge wrong. Um, you know, because you have to like do it. Put them it. down, you pick them up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I couldn't always tell where I was supposed to start. And um, so then I just started doing a twisted rib. <laughs> and there were an odd number of um, stitches. So in the middle I did a, um, a little twisted cable. And on the sides I continued the cable that existed. And then I did a little twisted cable in the back, too, because there were another odd number <laughs> on the back. So I've just been doing that. Um, so I have, like, this much. Literally, if I just knit on these for a couple of hours, they would be done. Um, I could even stop right here. <laughs> they're, they don't, I don't really need to have long legs. But they're getting there. I got, like... <laughs> like so you make it too done. complicated. Well, I just needed it to kind of blend it with the rest so it didn't look totally weird. But it's underneath the cuff. Who cares? Sorry. I don't know. I do. <laughs> I guess I do because I made it this way. So, yeah, I worked on those quite a bit because they were just starting the um, leg and I got like two inches done. So I did that. That's on the needles. Put them in my... Stitch by Jessa Lou bag. So that's number one. Number two. If you watched the episode last week, you will know that I took my hand spun um, uh, fiber optic gradient in the Blackbird colorway. Whoops. There we go. It's hard to see in this light. It doesn't um, really do the, um, to the knit, colors justice either, unfortunately. No, I have to look this up because I can never remember. It's a... Um, 
Cowl by Karina Spencer, and it is called Brush Creek Cowl. It looks like this. It's, it looks like a shawl that you've arranged around your neck, but it's actually a cowl because it's connected. And as I told you last week, when I got it to the point where I needed to join it, it was too tight. And then I read the project notes and I found that I am not the only person who's had this problem. So somebody commented in our group, you should rip it out because why knit something yeah, that's getting you've been that having trouble. Yeah, you've been having trouble issues. I saw that. And you know what? I said that's totally true. This is hand spun. I want something beautiful out of it. So I did, as you can see. I ripped the entire thing back. And I started it over again. But this time... I did a yarn over before the edge stitch. I would go and do the edge stitch, yarn over, edge stitch. So there's like a two, two um, stitch selvage. I would knit one, yarn over, knit one. And then on the way back, I would knit one, drop the do yarn. another yarn over, drop the existing yarn over, and knit it. So on both sides, there's a yarn over. And that makes the edge stitch, you can see... A lot bigger. The a lot edge stretchier. stitches are much more flexible than they were before. It doesn't really change the look of it at all. It just gives that flexibility. So when I get to the point where I'm going to join it, this time it's going to have more than enough stretch to fit over, fit over my head. So you can just see how much more flexible that is. So that's what I should have done from the beginning. And I will put it in my pattern notes for this project so that um, people know that Unless you're a really loose knitter, you're probably going to want to put some ease into that edge because the um, the side of the knitting, you know, when you have a selvage side, it's never very flexible. You know, you can do a flexible cast on and a flexible bind off, but the side of your knitting isn't flexible unless you put a little ease into it. Right. And um, unfortunately, the neck part of this cowl is formed by the side oh, of your okay. knitting. So, yeah, so that I started that over. I ripped it out yesterday and started it over. I'm not very far in anymore. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to be happier with it, and now I don't have to mess with it. Before I was trying to figure out a way to add an extra, um, an extra repeat onto it and then right. make it match. It was just, I was having to rewrite the pattern, and that lady's comment, I wish I could remember which viewer it was, but it just really struck home with me, like, I've had so many problematic yeah. patterns lately. Yeah. Why am I doing this? And I was like, it's absolutely right. I should either knit something else or start it over and knit it with the ease so that I can just follow the pattern. And that's what I did. So Yeah, when I for, read that, I'm like, the, just it's just point. true. It's, you know, I'm at that point too. Everything has been so problematic with my knitting lately. I have like a knitting curse. So, um, yeah, I did that. Thank you for slapping me into reality there. <laughs> Um, the other thing that's on the needles is I'm working with some other hand spun to develop a, um, a wrap pattern. I didn't really do any work on this, but I'm just going to show it to you. Um, it's my hand spun from Into the World. And I haven't messed with it this week, but it is on the needles, actively on the needles. And then my last thing is the seashell shawl whose sad story continues. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't weighed this, but I know I don't have enough, so I am just going to have to rip back to the corner here. I'll have to rip back like this much and just do the edging on the other side and then knit an edging across the top, and that'll be fine. It just won't be exactly the same. But that I need to put this... This has to go back in the naughty closet because I'm just, you know... <laughs> So, yeah, that's going back in the naughty closet. So we won't be seeing that one for a while. And that is all I have actively on the needle. Oh, it's open again. Oh, go ahead. Just uh, while I'm trying to finish this, it was Kiwi Knitter who suggested you to stop knitting Well, thank the you, cowl. Kiwi Knitter. That was the slap into reality that I need. I did rip it out, and now I'm much happier. So, yeah, she goes, another project you have to mess with, life is too short. It is too short. And I just thought about it, and I thought, you know, it will take me five minutes to rip it out. 
And I can either knit something else with that yarn, or I can start it over and knit it the way that I know it needs to be knit now right. and be happy with the outcome. Right, especially where it's homespun yarn and it's a beautiful gradient. I know. I just really did not want to have to mess with it because I already might have to make it a little bit longer in order to get all of the colors in. Right. And um, if I have to mess with it up at the top as well, that's just too much. But now it's going according to plan. So Good. I'm glad that just, I just really took that to heart. That's good. So, thank so you. my on the needles, I actually have two active things on the needles, but I'm only showing you one because one of them is a secret knitting. It's for me. <laughs> but you're not going to see it. It's not a it. secret. I mean, it's a secret project. project, but I know about yes. I know about the project. I don't know what it is. I told her that I was knitting for her because she's got the trifecta coming the up. The trifecta. Although I only oh. celebrate one of it for her. That's right. Don't care about the other two. <laughs> you should care that I'm a mom. You I care. care that you're a mom, but I'm certainly not going to give you something because well, you're Well, I'm not mom. your mom. <laughs> exactly. Which is what my husband uses for an excuse, too. Well, that's your beside the point. Wrong. So my other active on the needle, and I think I've come quite a bit. Oh, you have since I even saw you last. Yes. Uh, Trillion by Martina Bem. Yeah. It's a fun little knit. I love the colors. It's black and white or Ooh. silver streak. Making a mistake? I might be making a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. She's not knitting on anything, though. So this is Trillion in um, Cherry Tree Hill Super Sock Select Silver Streak Colorway. Yeah. And it's going to take me longer to do each thing because you get, you get you're adding stitches. And it keeps getting longer and longer and longer. So... This is going to take me a while. But it's coming along nice. It is coming along nice. So that's all I have actively on the needles that I can show you. I apologize. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what I want to do, though? So I was knitting it with signature needles yeah. oh, that yeah. you had given me, that a very generous viewer had given us because she didn't like. Because the cords kept breaking? Yeah. Here. I relinquished my signature needles. <laughs> Now, and it may be because of the project that I was doing. Yeah. But, um, so I'm going, hey, let me just show. I'm going back and forth with this project. I'm not a big fan of the cord. It's kind of loose for me, loosey-goosey. I really enjoy Chai Goo needles. This is the signature. Interchangeable. Interchangeable. Anytime I was turning the project around, they were becoming loose. And I got annoyed. It was unscrewing. It was unscrewing. See? No matter how tight I was getting. Only once did I did it come undone completely. But to worry about checking it each and every time, I didn't want to worry about it. So I was looking for needles to change. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, where are all my threes? They're mixed in with my fours. Uh -huh. So I've changed needles. Right now I'm using an Addy Turbo lace needle. We were talking about those. Oh, yeah, I like those. This is the... I want to say the second generation of lace needles. You remember the first one where they smelled like copper pennies? Yes, I have some of those. I do too. This does not smell like copper pennies. But this is Addie Turbo Lace, and I like it much, much better. So well, she can have the signatures back. Yay. Thank you. It was nice to try them. <laughs> if they were fixed, she wouldn't be getting them back. No. But they're not fixed. I've come to realize I don't like interchangeables. Matter of fact, one of the threes I could have changed to was a Haya Haya interchangeable. I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm not even dealing with I'm that. Not even go in there. Nope. So I have a small three for hat knitting if I need to. So. Well, it was nice of me to give these to you, and it's nice of you to give them back if you don't like them. I don't. Because I could use another size three needle. Thank you. You're welcome. So that's all I have actively on the needles. Um, rate your date. I don't have anything of my own to rate, but I do have a project, a half, project done. half done. My mom finished one of my socks. It looks awfully similar to something Sheila has. Sure, take my thunder. I did. I stole your thunder with my you mom. You did steal, steal my thunder. Rate your date. <laughs> I don't want to rate my date anymore. I have a finished pair. <laughs> they look very similar. <laughs> they do, especially as we're holding them up the same way. I know. And you're using my sock blockers. That's right. Mm, mine smell good. Mine still smell like sock yarn. No, mine smell like eucalyptus lavender. So I have actually a, a pair. 
Yeah, I have one. And look, mine match. <laughs> I'm getting persnickety in my old age. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They needed to match. And this the- is in Patton's Croy Rag Shades. And Sheila knit, got hers first. And I copied her because I loved the sock monkey-ish color of this so yeah. much. I am going to, um, when I get a 50% coupon or something, get another skein of this yarn in a different color. Because I really enjoy this yarn. I enjoy the stripes. I did mine with the Fish Lips Kiss heel. I can never get it right. Fish kiss FLK. Heel. I keep telling you to call it FLK. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Um, and Wendy's mom. My mom used a gusset. It's Wendy's Knits gusset. I can't think of the name of the sock. They're very it's Toa. Similar. I mean, they're very similar in shape. Just different construction. Mm. Have you tried those on yet? This one? No, because my mom just gave it to me. Um, she's got about, um, what do you say, like two inches or an inch left on the last sock. So hopefully I can bring these to Maryland sheep and wool with me. They will be my socks. Thank you for lending me a sock blocker. Oh, you're welcome. But, and thank you, Mom, for knitting me socks so I, I can saying, be the same mind, as Sheila. <laughs> so I can copy wear them Sheila. At <laughs> uh, our twin socks. Yeah. We'll um, have to make everyone that's staying with us make those same exact socks so we can all be twins. Well, we wouldn't be twins. We'd be no, like we'd quintuplets. Be <laughs> septuplets, because I think there are seven of us. So this is my date to rate. Yeah. And you'll give it a... Oh, I love the sock. I love the, the heel. Yeah. It's definitely a much better fit than the short row heel because it's just a smidge more. Like wider. Yeah, a smidge more. Um, I did still have issues with the edges, but that might have been me. It's the first time I did the heel, but the heel was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, or however that phrase is. Um, but I like the yarn. This is like... I the, like the yarn, too. The epitome of wool sock yarn. This is a good... Wool sock yarn. Oh, yeah, this is. I like did buy the sock boots. yarn for my mom. I didn't force her to buy the yarn for me, but I did buy it to her. And you say, should see the whip socks. she's got over here saying, "Knit me those socks." Get me chained to this. <laughs> I see that. I'll try and get the key away. How did this get up here? Oh, the cat. The cat must have brought it up here. <laughs> so that's all I have to rate. Um. So, uh, into, uh, whirlwind whirlwind romance. romance. I have kind of an exciting thing to announce for whirlwind romance. Um, we have been, well, I have, cause Sheila's not a spinner. I have been given some products from Lewitt to try out and reveal. And I got them shipped to me this week. So I'm going to show them to you and this is going to force me to have to spin. Yeah. Um, and I got a lot too. This is eight ounces of their Northern Lights 100% wool top in the popsicle color. Now, is this considered pencil roving? This is pencil roving. Okay, see, I'm I've never it. spun from pencil roving before. I'm so getting this it. is going to be. So, you got what, eight ounces? I think it's like eight ounces. You can certainly ounces. spin four ounces for me. It's half a pound. <laughs> so, that's eight ounces, right? Because a pound is 16. Yeah. Just touching. What is this? It's just 100% wool. It's called Popsicle. Now, are you going to just spin it? Like, I, I don't know. Have you ever seen you've never spun? I've never pencil? spun from um, pencil roving. Pencil roving. And I guess I'll just spin it. <laughs> I'll spin it until the bobbin's filled up. And then I'll spin another bobbin. And then I'll fly them together. Should be interesting to see. So, that's this. Um, it's pretty. It is. I, they, I told them I wanted one of their bright colors, and they sent me Popsicle. Popsicle. Well, um, it's not really, like, in your face bright. No, I, I like it. Like it's kind of pretty. It'll, it'll spin up. I think it'll spin up neat. Um, and then the second thing that I got. Yeah, what is this? Oh, God, yeah. It smells like she's Oh, bright. yeah. <laughs> this is Canterbury Prize Wool. Um, this was... I'll read, this is um, Jacob's style. It was, it was grown in Canterbury, and the grower was Pine Gould Guinness Bin Line. I don't know what that means. Grower? Yep. 
It has grown with passion and great care. It wins prizes for its overall excellence. The broker and processor with a critical eye select it with an end user in mind. It's scoured in a modern scouring plant. It's carded with pride on a gentle machine so the fiber's integrity is maintained. And this is the um, certificate that they send you um, for the delivery of wool to Wadsworth for the International Wool Craft Market. And this is from January 6, 2012. So um, this is a product of New Zealand. And this is something new that um, Lewitt is doing, their Canterbury Prize wool. I've never spun Jacob before. It's sliver and it smells like sheep. Oh, it <laughs> smells like sheep. This is an interesting fiber. I'll show it to you. It's got a pretty long staple. That's wow. pretty long. And um, it's really soft, surprisingly. It's not as wiry as you would think. Oh, that would have to soak for days. <laughs> it's not as wiry as, like, Wensleydale. So I got um, two, two uh, look, I guess eight ounces of that. Oh, is that right? Yeah, eight ounces. And then I also got, oh, let me put this certificate back in. I also got some Cotswold sliver. I've never spun Cotswold either. And this is also one of the Canterbury um, prize wools. And this one is by the same grower, Pine Gold Guinness Bin Line. I don't know what that means. And um, they call it downy with good bulk. And here is, oh, it is downy with good bulk. <laughs> ooh. See if I can find an end. Come on, end. There's the end. Yeah, just take it all out. It smells like sheep, too. Here we go. Oh, so. yeah. Bah. This is softer than the um, Jacob. This has a shorter staple length. So I'm interested to try these. I'm going to be um, sampling them and I'll give a review probably in a couple of weeks because I, I'm going to be gone next week, oh. at the end of this week, I mean. Right. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So thank you, Lewitt, for sending these samples. I've never spun just the um, un undyed. No, well, that'll, so be, I fun think that'll because... be fun. Except when I do the contest at um, Topsfield, that's always right. on undyed. But I'm really looking forward to that. I think it'll be interesting. So I'm going to sample it a little bit and I'll do some small sample things and then I'll tell you um, what I think about it. So thank you. I'm excited to try it. So that's it for Whirlwind Romance. Not a lot happening right now, but some stuff to come up. So that'll be fun. Um, future dates. I My only future date is the one that Sheila has. So I'm going to let her talk about it. Okay, so my, my future thing. dates. I posted on Instagram that I was going to cast on form Mystic Sock. Is that the name of it? I can never remember the name of it. Mystic Spiral Socks. And it's by Josh... Rikes, Reeks, R Y K S. You're good with names. I'd say Rikes. Rikes, Josh yeah, Rikes. Rikes. He's also known as Sword of the Knitter. Mm -hmm. And this is what. Oh, I don't want to make the sock real big. I. This you, is what the sock looks like. It's interesting. And it's great for striping. And so I posted a picture of what I was going to cast on with it. Well. What the yarn came with came with something else. And I'm like, no, I need to do something else because I got someone else's advice. So I cast on another project instead. Yeah. But this is the yarn that I'm going to knit these with. And, and I'm excited about even it. Even though I hate sock knitting, I saw on Instagram, Knit Kimber Knit was knitting these fluorescent Regia socks. This is Shock and Meyer Regia in Floromania. And I saw a skein of this when I was in Maine this week. So I bought this. And I really want to try that sock in this. But we'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, I might just give it to my mom and she can knit me one more plain sock to go with the one that I knit. Yeah, you're going to... Um, 
you're gonna go into the into the um, single saw because you've always knit two at a time. I usually knit two at a time. I'm gonna what try to re Regia what? It's Shock and Maya Regia Floral Mania color. It's really bright. Neon. I think it's fun. A lot of people have knit stuff out of it recently. I think we saw Crank and Creations had done something out of it too. Yeah, I'm just trying to find it on Ravelry to It's new. Yeah, it it's was recent. Still... I mean, new is probably not the right. I can't seem to Here, get it look up. Look it up. Oh, I have fiber in my nose. That's what happens when you play with sheep. I know. Oh, geez. It's new, but there's quite a bit out there already. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So you can see. <laughs> Here's some of them. They're all really bright. The ones that I saw were the purple and pink right here um, on Instagram. Yeah. Those are the ones you're making now. Yep. Or will be making. Oops. That's what I wanted. Full screen. So this is this somewhat is the color what her color the is going to look doing. like. Except for in that spiral, mystique spiral. It should be fun. I know. I think it's interesting. I haven't done that before, but I'm going to try it out. Yeah. I'm going to try out the fish lips kiss heels. Who knows? Maybe I'll get my sock knitting joy back. That would be good. <laughs> Doubtful, we'll see. But... <laughs> I don't believe so, it, but we'll see. And then I'm also, um, I'm still planning on doing the tubulatory. I don't know who it's by. I don't know, but, but I'm just debating. Diane on... from Knittables is knitting it. It's pretty. Neat. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So that will be my scarf that I cast on. I'm just debating on what yarn to do it with because now I'm thinking it might look good with a gradient. I think it might look great with a gradient. So that's all our future dates, that's and maybe good. just maybe I'll help Wendy's mom with slippers <laughs> if she's willing because it's real easy. <laughs> she's got the needles. She's like yeah. She's you got, got the, the pattern. pattern. <laughs> the yarn is cheap. Now that I have the... By the way, for those of you who live in the United States and shop at Joanne Fabric, there is a Joanne Fabric app, if you don't know that, and you get the coupons right on your phone. Oh, really? Yeah. No. I don't know what I did with my phone, but um, yeah, you just click on it and the coupon's there. You don't have to remember to bring it with you. So I've every time I go to Joanne now, I can just use my phone. It's kind of awesome. For those of you who have smartphones, because I don't. Oh, well, I don't know. It, it might work on... No, because you need Wi-Fi, too. Oh, maybe. Well, anyways, anyways. <laughs> if you don't have the app, where is my phone? Oh, Call it. You'll find oh, it's it. It's on the floor. Oh, nice. I, I've dropped a couple of things on the floor. My yarn for my um, my stitching is on the floor, too. Oh. So, um, crushes and heartbreaks. Um, my crushes, we had a great trip to Maine this week. Um, I got to see my great aunts, so that was fun. My kids got to see them. Oh, good. And uh, we stayed at the Fireside Inn, and that was really nice. And unfortunately, the pool that they have, they have an indoor heated pool, which is why we booked there, so my kids couldn't swim in it. <laughs> it was closed the last day of our trip, Aww. so I, my kids only got to go in one day. That was kind of a disappointment for them. But they were so good during the trip, and we had a lot of fun. We went to a couple of yarn stores that you might want to check out. One place is called um, Rosemary's Yarn and Gift Shop in Wyndham, Maine. And they had, I'm not even joking, the most yarn in one store that I've seen except for webs. Wow. So if you're ever in Wyndham, Maine, check out Rosemary Yarn and Gift. And we also went to Mother of Pearl up in um, Freeport, Maine. And that was a lot of fun, too. That's a nice store. They've uh, expanded since they opened, so they have a nice selection there. Um, my heartbreak is that I have been having really bad sinus trouble for the last few days because of the high um, tree pollen yeah. count. I hope that's just what yeah. it is. I hope I'm not brewing something because I am leaving in three days for um, Maryland, and I don't want to be sick on my trip. Nope. Don't blame um, I, I felt really crummy yesterday all day, like really crummy, but I feel much better today, so I'm hoping it's just pollen. And yeah, not, hopefully not the rain brought it down a little. But um, yeah, that's my crushes and heartbreaks. Not a lot, just having a good vacation with the kids. The kids are back in school today, so I'm happy about that. Well, they were back in school yesterday, right? Yeah. Mm. 
I was happy about it yesterday, but I was sick, so I didn't really get to enjoy it. But today, I get to enjoy it. Yay! So, crushes and heartbreaks for me. Um, <laughs> where to begin? I think mine are mostly heartbreaks. And uh, So, I told you guys, I think I told you guys, Sorry. in January, my company was bought out by another company, and they've been nasty, laying off people left and right. And we were told two weeks ago that they were closing the lab. Good news, sort of, <laughs> is that U.S. Laboratories is taking on the phlebotomist. So I'm losing a job on Wednesday, but I'm getting a job on Thursday. Now, that sounds exciting. U.S. Laboratories is a mobile lab. They go from facility to facility. Uh, right now, they told me my hours won't change. I'm still going to be working 12 hours right now. That's going to change because there is no need for a phlebotomist, just a phlebotomist. That's all we do is draw bloods at this facility for 12 hours. And they're going to realize that. So this um, U.S. Labs is based down in Brockton. And for me to stay there, I would drive down to Brockton and travel from nursing home to nursing home around the Brockton area. They do have a place up in Chelmsford, which is closer by me. But that's not really what I want to do. I don't want to go from facility to facility. So I applied to many places last week. So I hope you guys keep your fingers crossed for me because I really don't want to do this. And uh, yeah, that's my crushes and heartbreaks. So I have a job, but I'm getting rid of a job. I'm going to be uh, saying goodbye to some really nice people tomorrow. There was a luncheon today, but I didn't want to go. Too yeah. Sad. But the good news is you are looking for a new job from a position of strength because at least you're employed until you find another job. So that's a, a positive. And it may be that by the time that you have to do your schedule change into something you don't want, you'll have something else. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So we'll keep so. our fingers crossed for that. We'll see. So, yeah, please keep your fingers crossed. I've okay. applied to a lot of different places just in desperation, really. Because, and you know, the other thing too is vacation was last week and I came home at one point after working and it was a rainy day and my kids hadn't been outside. They were still in their pajamas and it was more of a light dawning. I can't keep doing the 12 hour shifts. It's not fair to my family. So, um, it was a rude awakening last week, I guess you could say. So we'll see. I start this uh, new position on Thursday. I'm not looking forward to it. I, I'm, it's causing me some anxiety issues. I know. But try not to let your worry about it. And um, you know, it's funny because it's not about the drawing. No, uh, you no. Know, I'm not worried just... about the drawing. It's just the everything else. We have a lot of documentation that we're going to have to do. I have a cooler in the back of my trunk for the, the blood work that I have to take. Yeah. And documentation. we got to document a lot of things. Well, try not to let your worries about it ruin it during the time that you have to be there. You know, like try not to let it... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so I talked to my husband, and, I, and I, he goes, well, what about coming up here? I said, but it's traveling. And he goes, oh. Like, yeah, oh. A lot of wear and tear on your car. Do they pay you for that? Oh, yeah. They reimburse you a mileage stipend, but it's not quite the same. Yeah. So. And I'm still paying off my school. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so anyways, crushes, <laughs> right now I can't think of anything. I have a good family. <laughs> my family, that's my crush. That's always my crush. And your friends. Oh, right, yeah, family and friends, but my, my little boys, my little boys, my not-so-little boys. You young men. Yeah, Max had a um, uh, physical, yearly physical yesterday, so my husband had to take him because I had to go down for orientation. Yeah. I don't think my husband's been to a doctor's appointment, like annual appointment with them since maybe the first time we brought them. <laughs> so I was asking Max, because, you know, he's 13, what you guys talk about? Nothing. I'm like, <laughs> at one point the doctor does ask the parent to leave the room. Yeah. And um, I said, what did you talk about then? He goes, nothing, just showing us the growth. I think Max grew like four or five inches in a year, easily, if not more. Wow, I believe it. He's gotten really yeah. tall. So, um, I guess they were talking about the HPV Oh yeah. shot. I'm like, okay. 
hey, you know, <laughs> it's a need to know thing. Oh, I know. And I said to Max, I but I, I recall this being said to my, from my pediatrician a couple of years ago. We had since change pediatricians and she goes you know you don't have to worry about it right now I hope so I said to Max last night I said I hope I don't have to worry about it now you're not sexually active are you and he's looking at me like oh, what the heck I love how kids hate it when embarrassing you him. he's just looking at me like oh my god I can't believe you said that I'm like well you know he goes Matt and my husband goes he better not be well, oh I know, because I asked my daughter, do you think you need a bra? <laughs> she was like, Mom! <laughs> oh, God. It's so much fun to embarrass them. <laughs> I know. I don't know why the they're The best years of my life are coming up. <laughs> I get to embarrass them. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I know. So that's all my crushes and high breaks. But it's funny because he's 13 years old. He's getting to be a man. Yeah. But yet he's still my little boy he lo- who loves to snuggle. Yeah. He does. Well, he loves good. to snuggle with me on the couch. That way. So do I. And then my other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so much fun. Kids are really so much fun. They are. They're worth all the trouble they cause. <laughs> they are. <for> now. <laughs> Which is good because otherwise we'd kill them and eat them. <laughs> Kill and eat your young. <laughs> That's right. That's probably why we don't. All right. So that is gossip and no. That what is that? Crushes and heartbreaks, uh, bobbles and bling. There's a lot of bobbles and bling yeah. this week. First of all, I got this in Maine at the um, Rosemary's it. Yarn and Gifts. That's like blindingly I bright. Um, I also at Mother of Pearl because I am trying not to buy yarn that I don't need. This I had to get this because that was. Really, I think I would have gotten that too. I just because it's. I just wanted to try it. I don't know. It's so bright. Um, but I did buy a Prairie Schooler um, cross stitch pattern. There are two. It's a two pattern folder. It has the big one as the crow's fly, and then the little one that says. Sow four seeds in a row, one to rot and one to grow, one for the rook and one for the crow. Because I like crows. So I got a really cute um, pattern. They had a lot of these school prairie schooler patterns for sale at Mother of Pearl. So I got that for myself. Um, and then we went to the Connecticut Sheep and Wool. Oh, yeah. And I bought a Stitched by Jessalou um, wedge bag. There's a surprise for any of you. I know. <laughs> Um, as soon as she showed this on her Instagram account, I knew that I was going to get it. Um, actually, I even called her up and I asked her to make me a matching um, notions case so that I can get it. And she said she wasn't sure if she was going to be able to, but she did. Because she loves me. Yeah. Um, the inside is space. I love this so much, and I have decided that this is perfect for keeping all of my um, stitching stuff in because I can fit this right inside, and I have my stitching Just stuff in Just another excuse for bag. I don't need an excuse this for bag, true. to be honest with you. I really don't. So I'm keeping all my stitching stuff in there. So, um, yeah, I think she's going to get more of this cloth. If you like this bag, contact her store and see if she can do one for you. I love it. So I got that, but I that uh, that bags. Oh, and then I bought. Well, of course. I showed you that notions one. I got this notions pouch because it goes with my knittings, my bag, gnome bag. It's the same, different background color, but the same little guys. And then I got this zombie notions pouch because it matches my zombie um, wedge bag. And then I got. A bee pouch because it matches my bee wedge bag, which I was using for my cross stitch, but um, now I can use that for projects instead. This has bees inside, and this one has zombie heads inside, and this one has <clears throat> mushrooms. So I love how they um, have, it's like a little surprise inside. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Everyone knows I love these Notions pouches. And um, so then there's that. <laughs> and then um, I got a gift from um, Siberian Cat, who is also Penny. Her real name is Penny. And she sent me some 
Fleece Artist Lace Weight Yarn in the Stardust colorway. So here's one whole skein plus two skeins that are left over from a project she made with this. And I'm really excited about this. I think I'm going to knit that star leaf shawl for myself. I'm going to get some, find some beads that oh. I really like to go with this. And I'm going to knit that again because I enjoyed knitting that so much. I wouldn't mind knitting it again. And I also got from her a little card that says worry less, knit more, which I should have framed. Yeah. And um, Maybe I'll a put that in my car. From, what is it called? SimplySockYarn.com. And a cute little pin. Um, I'm not sure where that goes. To oh, this might be the um, it might be, it might be the, yeah, part of the donation. There was only one. Oh, well, this might be donated as a prize, but it's really cute. Little sheepy pin. She also sent us prizes, so um, she sent us a donation. Um, she sent two skeins of. Are you done with yours? I am. I'm she done. She sent us two skeins of yarn, sock yarn, to be donated to the prize bin. Yay! For the podcast. Uh, Opal, I'm not sure what this one is, Mississippi, Opal, Mississippi, an online super sock, and I don't think this has a color, it's got a number, Yeah. but it's striping, it's actually pretty, pretty. striping, both of them are striping, this is like the faux oh, fair isle, isle. whoops, jinx, <laughs> so what I got, and from, a little bag and a book, yes, as well. that's right, the book, um, it's really cute. We'll have to do a special giveaway on that one because it's not for everyone. No. It is called Stitch London, 20 Kooky Ways to Knit the City and More. And it shows the queen, <laughs> some cuffs, the queen's dogs, and um, what are these guys called? The guards? Yeah, the um, bee feeders. Oh, the bee feeder guards. And they have, you can knit a, like a phone box and a bird you and knit, Yeah, pigeons. if you do the right colors, you can knit a uh, TARDIS. You could knit a TARDIS <laughs> from this. So we'll probably, when we do a contest for this, we'll review the book and show the stuff in yeah. it and then we'll um, put it up for And the it's contest. got a little, um, some yarn and, and needles in there to knit a pigeon. It's included. Yep. It comes with yarn and needles to make a pigeon. So, so that was really nice of her. Thank you, Penny. And then um, a little bag. That's pretty. It is pretty. It's a drawstring bag. That's nice. Nice little project for socks. Yes. So excellent prize donation. Excellent. Thank yarn you very gift. much, Thank Penny. Thank you. Uh, that was for the prize donation. Now this is what I got from Penny. People know me so well. <laughs> I got Blue Moon. Fiber Arts, Sock Yarn, Socks at Rock, and the Issaquah? Issaquah. Issaquah. Issaquah colorway, sorry. Which I think is either a lake or a town in Washington State. I don't know, but it's river. beautiful. It's it, that water. would make sense because it's um water colors. blues and yeah. greens and stuff. It's really gorgeous. I love the colors. And then I have um, Strange Brew. That might have to be like a Halloween knitting or something. I, know, I don't normally do that, but... Yeah, I'm not going to knit for my husband. He doesn't get it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, Penny. I really appreciate yes, it. Yes, that was really nice. I'm excited to use this. I love Socks at Rock, so I'm excited to throw these into my stash. I've never marinate. knit with Fleece Artist No, it's lace. gorgeous yarn. It's it's gorgeous color. I love it. It's totally me. And then I got another uh, Bobbles and Bling that Wendy got last week. I showed from you mine last week from Callie, Callie, also known as Callisters from the Dramatic Knits podcast. So she gave me this wonderful bag to bring to the beach or use anywhere. But this is a great beach bag because it will keep the sand away. Yeah, it's um, waterproof. For knitting and other stuff, I suppose. But uh, really nice and roomy. And it has a place for your water bottle. Oh, yeah. And many pockets, which I like, and it's nice and bright and daisy, and I like it. Thank you very much, yeah, Callie. I really do bags. appreciate it. And then she gave me some Dramatic Knits yarn, uh, the all the way to the bank, and the Show Stealer, which is 80% superwash merino, 10% nylon, and 10% cashmere, and I love the color. I know. Absolutely. I love, love the, the color, color of mine, too. I have Purple Rain, and I was saying she on Instagram. She knows us very well. She does, because I love mine. I was saying on Instagram that I had um, Prince's song Kiss stuck in my head. Oh. Um, Kiss. Yeah. And I said it's because I got that Purple Rain skein. And then I was like <laughs> singing 
Prince songs. And <laughs> and then I got an earworm, so I blamed Callie for my earworm. That's all right. So That's these so are my gifts from Callie, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank and you she very sent us much. really nice notes, and that was kind of the best yes, thing. Yes, the about notes that were present. absolutely. Oops, and a pen. So I have one more thing to show. Um, I usually show my progress on my stitching at this point. And as you can see, I have done a lot. I am almost completely done with one half of the... Because mm -hmm. the chart the chart comes in halves. That's why it looks oh, so all right. So I'm almost done with this side. There's like, I have to do this design on the bottom, but I'm getting there. So on the other side, what do you do? Just reverse it or is there No, another there's chart? another chart that has the other but half on, of it. on this, did you just reverse it or did you no, go to the other chart? There's another chart. Everything is completely charted out. No, I understand, but it's just kind of weird how you did half of it and then you did a little bit of that. Oh, well, what happened is I did the birds first. Oh, all right. And then I did the line under the birds and I did this part. And then I got tired of going back and forth between the two charts, so I just stayed on one chart oh, right. and worked the whole thing. Because um, I'll show you how it um, looks. You can see the chart for one side is like narrow, see? And then this is the other side. Oh, all right. And so I was flipping back and forth between oh. the charts, and I got tired of doing that because it's really easy to lose track. So I just decided to do one whole side, and then I'll do the other whole side. But I think it's coming out really nice. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to say thank you to my fairy godmother, Netta, who sent me a bunch of cross-stitch patterns. Too many to show, but um, that's good. some gnomes, some Christmas stuff. Thank you, Netta. Um, I had showed this yarn in future dates. This is n Snitches. Um, yarn and it's the colorway is called seriously. Seriously, <laughs> I just lost a needle. Oh, great! Put, in, put a <laughs> magnet around somewhere. <laughs> no, I, I'll find it. It just fell off. Um, so this is lab coat white, anatomy red, scrubs blue, and Meredith's gray. That's what the colors are in this, and um, can't wait to start. Yeah, I think that's going to be really cool. So, with my other project, I have finished socks, so the other project that I have on the needles, I'm almost done with part of it. I'll probably finish it this week, and then hopefully cast on with this before our next show. Yeah. So that I can show everybody. Uh, is that it for Bobbles and Bling? Because it feels that like was, we This was a big week lot. for Bobbles and Bling. It was a big week Because we got that bling. box from Lewitt as well as all this other and, stuff. <laughs> So that's it for Bobbles and Bling, Gossip and in Innuendo. A Gossip and Innuendo. So the big gossip is that we went to Connecticut Sheep and Wool, and we spent time with our friend Jess, who is stitched by Jess Lou. We t went to have lunch with her, but it was so cold that we could barely eat. <laughs> Poor Jess. I mean, I ordered just a little cheeseburger. You ordered a hot dog. She had the sausage and peppers, and she just inhaled it. Because And we I'm were like, freezing. you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to pay for that later with <laughs> indigestion. <laughs> We had a good time, though. We don't get to see her very often. No, we so, don't. I mean, I talk to her. Right, we talk to her regularly, but we don't get to see her live very often. And we got to hang with Roger, which was so much fun. Her husband, I love Roger. Yes, booth bait. He's a good <laughs> booth bait. He's good people. I had got to help her in her booth, which I enjoy doing. Wendy's a knitting, uh, a walking, talking <laughs> advertisement, advertisement for Stitch by Jessalou. Stitch by Jessalou. Um, and Lois. Need to know need to know how to use a stitch by Jess Lou bag? I can tell you several ways I use mine. Need to know how long they last? I can tell you how long I've had mine. Yeah. And that yeah, well, I'm loyal to my brains. I know you are. Excuse me. But yeah, Sorry. I was excited to see her and we um met a bunch of people from the show. We met two people who have a podcast entwined stitches. Is, Is that it entwined? Intertwined, Intertwined stitches. Intertwined stitches. No, I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry. I'm on, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, um, XCO Mom. XCO Mom. Is one of them. And not Knit One, Spin One, who's also somebody that we met. Um, I'll just pull it up on my phone real quick. I'm trying to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, she's right there. She just did a little felted bee. Oh, hey. Intertwined Stitches. Intertwined Stitches. See, I knew that's what it was called. 
Axio Mom and have to look her up. Knitter by Nature. Knitter by Nature, that's right. If you get a chance, check out their podcast. Yeah, it was fun meeting them. It was very fun meeting them. And um, yeah, definitely check their podcast out. And we met so well. We saw our. Uh, um, Did a light just go off? She just turned oh. it off. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what just happened? My mom's over there. We met up with Lisa. We met up with Lisa, yes. And her we saw friend. Lisa, yep. And a bunch of other people came up and said hello, and we met some people, some new people, like the nice lady who did the peg weaving demonstration. She oh, nice. we've come to agree that we want to invest in a sock knitting machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to earn some money to get that. We yes. got to like pool our, it's only, it's only $1,300. So we'll just have to like pull together. Yeah. Seven hundred. So maybe in two years you'll see some socks coming off that We're sucker. We're saving our pennies for one a Gearheart machine. It's really nice. And really, really nice. And he made it look so easy. It is easy once you learn how to use it. He's a nice guy. He's the guy that owns um, um, Good Karma Farms in Maine. Which I have a couple Belfast, of skeins of. Uh, Me too. Of their yarn. Um, in fact, I think Lois from Knitting is My Bag and I are going to try to go visit their farm this summer when I'm up visiting well, her. Yes, yeah, Lois and I have talked about trying to get together this year. Too. So we just will have to figure something with the lake. Yeah. My son can't go in lakes. We'll figure something out. That'll be fun. Yeah. So um, that's it for. Oh, I still have all the list of the events. Um, and where are you going this weekend? I might be going to Maryland Sheep and Wall. You might? I might have posted it on Instagram. Oh, really? I might have posted a picture of my flight schedule. Three days to Baltimore. See how oh, excited yeah. I am? I'm very excited. I've never been there before. Um, I don't know because I'm not like hooked into everything, whether there is a meetup for podcasters. But I'm just letting you know that I'm not, I don't know about it, so I'm not going to do one. But I'm going to be there, and we love to have people come and say hello. So if you see me, come say hello to me. I'm not going. She's not going. But we'd like it when people... Oh, absolutely, but I'm not going, so don't look for me. So don't look for <laughs> Sheila. Look for me. I'll be there. I don't there. think anyone looks for me anyways. They look for you, and then I'm just tag along. <laughs> That's what you say. I'm usually hiding behind you. Yeah, Sheila, <laughs> Sheila is not a very outgoing person. I'm a little bit of an introvert when it a comes little to bit. stuff. Um, but I have, Until you know I have me. a bag of um, show buttons, and I will give you one if you come up and say hello. That's your reward. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to lure people. Want to show button? Button. But, but yeah, don't, you know, just do come just up come and, say, up and hi. say hi. Don't feel bad um, coming up. I know some no, people we are actually, we love it. to we say like, hi. I love to see the people that watch the show. I think it's fun. So. Just, you know, in future, if you ever see me, just approach me cautiously. <laughs> I may bolt and run. <laughs> yeah, don't like go, hey. Because <laughs> that can spook her. I spook She's like a horse. <laughs> Don't spook the horse. And if you want tips on how to break me, talk to Jess. <laughs> yeah, every year, Jess. Every year. Every time, not even every year. But we did have a lot of fun this weekend. I am really excited about the upcoming weekend. I'm going to be there with Knitting Nirvana. Who um, Suzanne who's... might start her podcast again? She's oh, also okay. Suzanne Morrison Gabbro, who designed um, the um, Anna Cacao the patterns that we're doing on our knit along. Yes. I'm going to be there with my friend Denise, mad about Matisse, Matisse. and our fr new friend Tara. We haven't met yet. Have no, we? only no. online. Um, but I'm and Lois. I forgot. <laughs> and Lois. Lois. <laughs> Lois. Lois. How has, could you dare forget Lois? Lois, who lives, uh, who is flying out oh an gosh, hour and a half thing. away from me, but is getting to the airport like five hours after. <laughs> She's an hour and a half by flight away She's, from you, right? Not certainly not oh, no, driving. By driving an hour and a half to Portland. 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 No, Dexter. No, Dexter's way up there. But Portland is an hour and a half. Give or take, Poor maybe Lois. an hour 40. Um, but her flight to Baltimore is taking, like, something more than six hours, whereas my flight, let's find out. I'm pretty sure my flight is around an hour. Might be an hour and a half. 
Let's find out. It's fun to find out. Um, can you tell me where that quote came from? It's fun to find out. No? Uh, yeah. Educational? An hour and a half. An old museum of science. Okay. I'm it's fun like, to I, find out. I, I, I knew it was something like that. I'm like, education. Do you recognize but... this one? I can walk like, like a penguin. A penguin. <laughs> that commercial must have been on for like 20 some odd years. That woman must have been like 40 by the time they finally retired that thing. How about this one? Hey, Anthony, where were you on Wednesday? Prince Spaghetti Day. They've, <laughs> yeah. been, re they've been redoing that one. I know they've been one. redoing that one. Yeah, so back, back to the old <laughs> flash in the. If you live in Massachusetts <laughs> in the in the eighties, then you'll know what we're talking about. Otherwise, you probably don't even care. Right. So yeah, yes, my hour it, it is just under an hour and a half for me to Baltimore from here. So oh, well, that's no. very that sad. <laughs> that's very sad. But um, we're gonna have a good time. So, and on that note, we? you'll hear all about it next week. Yes, from you her. Will. Me, um, you'll hear my woes. And of if you want to see pictures, I will probably Instagram from there of stuff that I see, things that I have seen, and mm -hmm. stuff that I'm doing. So you can follow me on Instagram, Knit One Wendy. Same as Twitter. I'm Knit One Sheila if you just so desire to follow me. Yeah, I have a private account, so you have to request to follow yes. me. Um, but as long as you look legit, <laughs> and by legit, I mean like you look like a knitter, have a knitter's account, or you follow knitting people, then I'll let you follow me. But because um, every once in a while I get these weird people Spams. from like, yeah, from like Malaysia <laughs> who then say, I can get you a million followers and I just have to delete them. Yeah, because we don't want a million followers. We really <laughs> no. don't. I just like knitters to follow me. I don't want weird, you know, spam people from another country to follow me. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, spammers. No. No, 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 no Instagram no. for you. No Instagram for you. <laughs> no for you. So on that note. Yeah. Oops. What's going on down here? I have no idea. The cat's getting into something. This oh. is time for us to go. Perfect time to say now goodbye. it's time to say good night. Good night. Sorry. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> Good night, John boy. <laughs> okay, that's Have just a good way week. too much throwback now. Knit with heart. Have a good week. Knit with heart. Bye. Bye.